group of strange babies is born at the hospital. Some look like eagles with feathers all over their hands, while others resemble hedgehogs with spikes covering their bodies. Each baby exhibits the characteristics of a different animal, leaving the hospital doctors puzzled. Along with this, a virus emerges. Once infected, patients' pinkies continuously tremble. Strangely, the human animal hybrids seem immune to this virus. They become the target of frenzied human hunting, believed to be the source of the virus. To protect his son, a man with deer antlers takes his newborn, Gus, into the forest. The father fixes a house, a cement generator, and repairs the electromagnetic fence, creating a county home. As time passes, Gus grows, and his father begins training him in self-defense. Right here, growl. I'm if I see a human, I will hide. One day, while playing in the forest, Gus unexpectedly spots a doe. Touching his own antlers, he instinctively believes the doe is his mother. Excitedly, Gus returns home and tells his father about seeing his mother. His words trigger memories in the father. He lies in bed, experiencing insomnia for the first time. Later, he takes out a metal box and buries it in the wild. Gus celebrates his ninth birthday, and his father gives him a slingshot as a gift. Excited, Gus runs into the forest, drawn by footprints on the ground. Following his animal instincts, he arrives at the edge of the forest, where there's a wire fence. Despite his father's warnings not to leave the forest, Gus, driven by curiosity, gazes at the outside world, a longing brewing within him. Suddenly, a distant beast roar startles Gus, causing him to step back. Out of nowhere, the man scoops Gus up as his father. He sternly warns Gus never to venture beyond the forest. Soon, the father's words prove true when a man appears outside the wire fence. Despite the father's repeated warnings for the man to leave, Gus hiding nearby is discovered. When the father looks up, the man has vanished, leaving behind a ribbon tied to the wire fence they've been marked. Back at home, the father hides Gus in the basement, crafts poison tip needles into weapons, and faces the intruder alone. Young Gus waits for a long time, but his father doesn't return. Suddenly, strange noises come from outside the door. Gus grabs his slingshot, squints his eyes at the approaching figure, only to realize it's his father. The next moment, the father inexplicably collapses to the ground.